Breeding the ideal oyster involves a good bit of science, and John Supan has taken up the task. Supan, an oyster breeder with the LSU Ag Center and Louisiana Sea Grant, has helped develop an oyster that maintains its size and flavor during the hot summer months when oyster quality typically is lower. So they get fat in the wintertime like all oysters do, but come summertime when the water temperatures rise and the oysters spawn and they burn off their winter fat, these triploids retain that winter fat all summer long. Supan is the sole source of tetraploid broodstock oysters for the Gulf Coast. The tetraploids are used to produce triploid oysters. Triploids are sterile and do not expend any energy to reproduce, which means they grow bigger and meatier. When you take a sack of oysters in Louisiana and you shuck them, you'll end up with 10, maybe 12 pints of meat. But come summertime, uh, when you shuck a sack, it may only yield four and five pints of meat because of the spawning. Um, triploids don't spawn, so the meat yield stays the same. While some consumers might find the science behind these oysters less appetizing, Supan is quick to note that there is nothing unnatural in triploid oysters. The chromosomes that, that, that are in those oysters, in triploid oysters, were there already. Just through the breeding process, we made them retain an extra set of chromosomes. We didn't add any strange genes or chromosomes from another organism into these oysters. Supan said that growers would not necessarily have to have their entire crop in triploids to reap the benefits. An oysterman would, would harvest their traditional wild oysters all winter long as they traditionally do. But come May, beginning of June, when that meat yield starts to drop from spawning, they would switch over to their summer crop so their meat yield stays the same. Supan is also looking at growing oysters in cages and is finding that both survival rates and growth rates exceed those grown traditionally on the water bottom. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Craig Gotro reporting.